Well, welcome to Speaking of Horses. Now, today we're going to take a look back. Ten years ago, we were at the World Equestrian Games being held at the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington, Kentucky. While we were there working all 16 days of the World Games with Speaking of Horses and myself as an announcer, we worked at length with a lot of people, one of which was Elizabeth and Bill Chatner. Elizabeth joined us for a tour of what is called Spindle Top. Spindle Top is a wonderful mansion, used to be a saddlebred raising facility, uh, has become a club in Lexington. It's basically right across the street from the Kentucky Horse Park, but it is a mansion with a lot of history. And Elizabeth took us there to show us around. Let's go 10 years ago at Spindle Top in Kentucky. They are our family, and we only want the best for them. No standing water means clean, good tasting, algae free, mosquito free, and virus free water. No risk of electric shock, no risk of fire from faulty wiring. Cool water in the summer, warm water in the winter. Water delivered fresh from the water supply at 50 degrees year round. Drinking post water. The rural American lifestyle. It's how we work and it's how we play. It's how we learn and how we enjoy the finer things in life. How we take care of our animals and tend to the land. It's a way of life. Has been for hundreds of years. Now there's a whole new way for rural America to watch TV. Welcome to Speaking of Horses. You know, we're all 16 days of the World Equestrian Games. We are right here, and right now we have a very special treat for you. We are standing at the entryway into historic Spindle Top. Anybody around Lexington or that knows about Lexington or in the horse world that has paid attention to Lexington would know about the history and beauty of a spindle top. It is a gorgeous place. We're going to give you a tour inside, a few little shots around, and a story about some of the history. And with this and with all of her artwork that is here for a showing, my guest for this trip is Elizabeth Shatner. So, Elizabeth, if you would come right on in here and look at this beautiful fountain oh, behind God. us. It's not only beautiful, but it's so peaceful. It sounds beautiful. It's music to the ears. You know, for somebody that's been up late every night here at World Games, I'm ready. That just makes me want to take that nice nap, right? It's so <laughs> serene and uh, it's just beautiful. Well, we're happy to have you with us and happy to have you lead this tour. Uh, this is just a gorgeous setting here, and we're going to learn a lot more about Spindle Top right now. So why don't we go inside? Great, Wayne. It's my pleasure. I'm so happy that you're here, and, and we're working together in Lexington again. And here we go. How exciting, the, the historic Spindle Top Hall. And your art is called? Unbridled. Absolutely. And it's a study of horses and humans and uh, the thought of how they interact and how appropriate because that's what's happening over across the street at the World Equestrian oh. Games on the horse park. It's fantastic. Let's go in and take a look right now. Right now we're ready to enter historic Spindle Top, so we're going to go inside and we're going to take a wonderful view. We're at the historic Spindle Top Hall, right across from the Kentucky Horse Park, where cultures, history, art, and the art of horsemanship merge. And how appropriate, because we're ready to enter this historic building, which was built by Pansy Yount and uh, surrounded with her love of the American saddlebred, which is a historic breed that fought in our wars and is still serving today along with all the other American horses at charity horse shows across the country. So horses of history, making history, still serving those in need. Horses of history, making history, still serving those in need. Right here at the Kentucky Horse Park, see Central Kentucky Riding for Hope, Horses for Heroes program, where cultures, art, history, and the art of horsemanship merge. Let's go. Right now we're looking at a wonderful portrait of Pansy Yant. Pansy is the person who built this mansion, which became Spindletop, and was a tremendous saddlebred 
enthusiasts as well. This was a saddlebred facility. And we are looking at this beautiful portrait of her with the flowers just above the mantle. Now we're going to take a, a look at one of her favorite things here in Spindletop. Yes, this is one of Pansy's things. We are here in the music room at Spindle Top Hall, and uh, Pansy's daughter Mildred was a very talented musician. One of the instruments that Pansy built for her here in the mansion, or brought for her to the mansion, is this 1937 Kimball reproducing organ. It's one of just over 300 in the United States that is, has a Organ Historical Society designation for being in its original place and largely in its original condition. One of the fascinating things about the organ is the house was largely built around it so that it would have reverberation chambers and a speaker system in the lobby. It's connected to this Chinese lacquered music box, which was, this music box was basically the 10 disc CD changer of its day. Out of these hundred scrolls of classical and other music that could be preloaded, up to ten of them, and then Pansy from any one of six stations throughout the house could check her music. She could decide what to play based on the pre-typed, pre-loaded scrolls that uh, her staff had put in for her that day. It's one of her favorite parts of the house and filled the house with uh, the joyous sound of music. Right now, let's welcome Elizabeth Shatner and Mr. Gerald Marvel as they come down the stairs here into the saddlebred room right here at Spindletop, and we're going to meet and greet them in just a moment. Equa-Aid, the first and last aid for wound skin disorders, crowd flesh eliminator, all guaranteed. Safe and effective water-based, naturally antibacterial, you'll want it in your tack box, in your trailer, on the trail with you or any event. That is Equa-Aid. Check them out, equaaid.com. Equa Essentials Horse Care Products, a complete horse care package of all grooming, skin care, body care products, all from Equa Essentials. Developed by Dr. Tom Tweeten, these products are all tested and checked to make sure they're safe on your animals, horses, and in some cases, dogs and the like. But you need to have Equa Essentials as a part of your tack box and routine. That's Equa Essentials Horse Care Products. Right now, let's go back to Spindletop, our look from 10 years ago during the World Equestrian Games in Lexington, Kentucky. Let's go back to Elizabeth. Hi, Wayne. It's so good to be seeing you again, and a pleasure to be speaking about horses with you. And um, our neck, our our natural evolution from when we met at Briarfest celebration when All Glory uh, helped earn um, some funds for CK Riding for Hope Horses for Heroes program is uh, we're still in Lexington and right across the street from the World Equestrian Games the um, the, the first time the Olympics, Olympics of Horses, the first time the Olympics of Horses has ever been in America and right here in Lexington. It's quite an honor. We're all abuzz with it. We're so excited. And this might be, we're at Spindletop Hall. It's a historic Spindletop Hall. Maybe one of the best kept secrets in Lexington. And it is sistering with, um, with WAG and the uh, All Tech WAG, it is sistering with All Tech WAG and helping uh, with uh, making access, easy parking access and shuttle access to get over to the game. So it's, it's so wonderful. Not only is there so much parking over at um, the Lexington Horse Park, it's easy to get in, but now you have the option of coming to Spindletop Hall. It's right on Ironworks Pike past the Commonwealth uh, building 
and you'll see some big stone pillars come in, drive down the gorgeous historic lane. It used to be an American saddlebred farm that was founded by Pansy, built by Pansy Yount. And here we have, sorry, I didn't introduce you. This is Gerald, Gerald. Marvel. Gerald Marvel. Mm -hmm. And he's a manager here at Spindletop Hall. And um, he can tell us, what year did Pansy build this? It, uh, Pansy built Spindletop Hall between 1935 and 1937. It took about two years to build at a cost of a little over a million dollars. Wow, and in that time, that must have been quite a fortune to spend. I'm glad it was. We oh. had uh, handcrafted artisans brought in from all over the world to, to do each of the uh, different rooms and each of the different features, so she spared no expense and uh, created a wonderful legacy here. And what kind of horses did um, Pansy have? Pansy was very successful in the saddlebred industry. She actually had, she and her husband, Miles Frank, had started the saddlebred stables, spindle top stables, just outside of Beaumont, Texas. And uh, he passed away unexpectedly, prematurely in 1933, and she moved to Kentucky to continue in the industry. And in the meantime, she hired Cape Grant, one of the best saddlebred trainers in the world at the time, and they had basically given him a blank check to go out and start spindle top stables and they had uh, several horses that were dominant in the show ring and in the breeding operation for many years to come and they say the energy of pansy still walks this this uh, spindle great spindle top hall absolutely there are many who claim to have seen her going across the halls upstairs at night in her little uh, flower day dress that she was known to wear around the farm well so. and i'm feeling the energy of pansy right now because i'm a, a sad not only a saddlebred lover still very active and showing American saddlebreds and my husband and I, William, William Shatner, my husband and I love our saddlebreds as much as we love our American quarter horses and American standard breds. Those are the three breeds that we love. So um, we are standing in this room that feels like we're inside of a barrel and it's the saddlebred foyer. And the, the gracious folks here at Spindletop Hall have um, invited me to display my unbridled collection, which is the evolution of Art by Nature. I think you folks saw Art by Nature at Briar Fest, and it's been locally, uh, 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 locally um, seen around Lexington since May. But this is, um, I've been a horse enthusiast all my life, so this is really my passion, my heart. And uh, seen through the eyes of uh, uh, a judge, I have seven judges' cards through USEF, and uh, judge multi-breeds. So um, this is real, this art collection is my unbridled series, the first time we're seeing it in Lexington. And it's really an exploration of uh, my husband's and my passion for horses and our opportunity to see and experience horses all over the world. So whenever I go with my husband or we go on trips uh, all over the world, we try to make it a point to visit some of the horse, um, it, the horse, uh, the horse farms and other interests, horse interests in that country. So each piece has a story, and um, um, so graciously, Spindletop Hall has allowed me to put this up and introduce the Unbridled series. We're going to have an artist reception here for Unbridled uh, this Saturday at 5 to 7. So we would, it's open to the public. And we'd like to say that even though Spindletop Hall is a private club, that it is open through WEG uh, for visitors. And uh, would you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Well, we're, uh, we're thrilled to show off this beautiful mansion. Um, Pansy built this to be a showplace of Kentucky, and that's what we do here these days. So uh, we're thrilled to have the Unbridled Collection here, first of all. I know Pansy would be very thrilled. Uh, I feel her energy. Uh, absolutely. Some of her champion <laughs> horses. Yeah, some of her champion horses, Chief of Spindletop, Bo P. Vine, Roxy Highland. Oh, uh, wow. There's, those are horses that I, you'll see those in the bloodlines through the saddlebred industry, and, and she would be thrilled to see your artwork here, and, and we're very oh. excited as well. So. During the World Equestrian Games, we're open breakfast, lunch, and dinner, 7 a.m. till the last folks want to leave at night. We've got a wonderful after-hours menu as well, even. So uh, we're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and uh, we're offering a shuttle service. We're charging a small fee to park if you're not a member. And how Mem much? Mem it's $15. Uh -huh. Member parking is free, and then mm -hmm. we're charging $5 per person for the shuttle ride for and the day. Do and do the folks have to wait for the shuttle? Uh, not very often. We, uh, we had a couple of times where we had a little wait, but there's big crowds over there, so we fixed that. So uh, the shuttles are running continuously from 7 a.m until approximately an hour after the last event ends during the game. And so, what time intervals? About every 15 minutes.
it. So Right. And where do they get dropped off? They get dropped off at the VIP drop-off entrance, which is just about wow. 50 yards from the main That's entrance. That's pretty good. You don't get a vehicle any closer than the VIP drop-off. And so, I saw uh, you also have bikes available. We do. We have a few bikes available as part of the Legacy Trail that is recently completed. We're excited about that. You can ride on the Legacy Trail from here to the park, and wow. uh, we have a few bikes available for checkout. So, And it's also a, a beautiful walk. So if someone's interested in just parking here and walking, you can you can walk the trail. It's about eight-tenths of a mile from here to the park and winds through what was formerly all Pansy's Farm. It's now the wow. Council of State Governments and things. But Every time you beautiful. say Pansy, I get these chills. Pansy's telling me something. She's saying, <laughs> don't forget the Saddlebred. We want, one of the things we want to introduce is this is Call Me Ringo, uh, my husband's and my Bell Rev Farm uh, stallion that William Shatner drove in the opening ceremonies. We had the, the honor of both my husband and I riding in the Kentucky Salute, the American Saddlebred and Standard Bred and uh, also Racehorse, the Thoroughbred section of the opening ceremonies. It was a salute to all the breeds in Kentucky. And this is a stone horse model that was sculpted originally by a very famous artist, Catherine Bugatti. Her father, she's a second generation, her father has works over at the horse park right now. And this is Call Me Ringo, the very stallion that my husband drove during opening ceremonies. And I was, I was uh, joking with Wayne here, I didn't really get the, the, the collectible model um, interaction of the people in the model, but I was photographing this horse, Call Me Ringo, on a beautiful Kentucky limestone quarry yesterday, and I got as thrilled as I, if I were photographing a real horse. The way the light caught it and everything, it really looked like him, and it was thrilling. It matched the shots that it, of him that, uh, as Bill was driving him through the gate at the World Games. And by the way, he came out of the breeding shed to do that. He's a world champion. Bill birthed him. He pulled him out of the womb. He's been part of our Bell Rev family forever and uh, his whole life. And so he's a special horse to us. He's, he's more than just horse flesh. He's family. And uh, he came out and made us so proud, rose to the occasion and honored his Civil War horse blood and marched through there even though he and Bill had never seen it. Lights, camera, it was Super Bowl roar. We're still lying high from all of that, from participating. I had the, I was riding a horse called Boston Legal and he gave me the dance of a lifetime. And uh, we'll talk, we have some Boston Legal um, shots around here, that some pieces that we'll, we'll explore a little later. But also, none of this would be quite so meaningful. The, the art or the models, horses in art, um, if we weren't able to talk about the horses of history making history, still serving those in need. And to create the awareness that horse charity horse shows across the country, American horses are really on board joining the campaign to raise money for those in need. And we had a great opportunity at Briar, at Briar Fest. This is all glory and appropriately named. None of this was planned out. Uh, the Briar folks chose all glory to be their 2010 celebration horse this year. And in July, our American standard bred. Now he's a standard bred, another American horse that um, is that we are involved and we love to drive the roadster horses fast and all glory was chosen because he's 12 time world champion not only under saddle but to bike which means to the sulky which you saw and he also was in opening ceremonies he was driven he rose to the occasion he was driven by a driver he had never been driven to before into that scary environment but Merrill Murray he's current world champion five gated open rider so he's uh, very capable he was in capable hands and um, the the interesting thing about this is the Briar folks who are sponsors of the the all tech world equestrian games um, donated in all glory's behalf and our American standard bred uh, participation at the Briar Fest celebration to Central Kentucky Riding for Hope, Horses for Heroes Initiative. And that is a program that is, uh, the goal is to extend therapy riding to our veterans and their families uh, coming home. So we can, through th existing therapy riding communities or centers throughout the nation, develop this template right here at Central Kentucky Riding for Hope, which is on the Lexington Horse Park, um, a template that other therapy riding 
uh, organizations can adopt and use to serve our veterans and their families to help them better integrate into our communities after um, they've served us. So again, horses of history, making history, still serving those in need, and um, we're just so proud to be part of that and this um, um, proud American standard bred breed. So um, this is a briar horse and not any, not available for sale, but we can offer some for charity functions. They're again trying to raise funds for those in need. Um, so if you get a chance, go on elizabethshatner.com and learn more about um, all the, the, the charitable things that horses are doing and also the historic things. So you guys, you got to come, come out to the horse park and see the World Equestrian Games because not only is it a competition with people and beautiful horses, but it's a place right here in Lexington where cultures and history, art and the art of horsemanship merge. So we're excited about that. Now, um, we'll take a, a tour in a second and we'll see some more specifics. Sp uh, pieces speaking of, of horses, are very proud to have Total Equine Feeds as a sponsor for our many programs. We are really happy to have Dr. Harry Anderson and Total Equine Feeds involved with speaking of horses. They manufacture all type of feeds and nutritional products for all types of animals, horses, equine, cattle, birds, all types. Total Equine Feeds is a great supporter and longtime friend of Speaking of Horses. Thank you to Total Equine Feeds. Welcome to the world of Orange Slow Feeder, the longest lasting, highest quality slow feed net in the world. We currently have 12 different sizes and we have anywhere from a small trailer net clear up to a 6x6 round bale or a, a 448 square bale net. And you can contact us at orangesolopeter.com. We also have a Facebook page and we're at Pinterest and we'll, we'll be on Twitter soon. Hi everybody, uh, Wayne has graciously asked me to spend a little time describing the Unbridled Collection. Well, Unbridled just means it's the horse collection out of my Art by Nature series. And within the collection there are different series. And this wall studies, it's called the Fair Game series, and it's a study of uh, horse shows and horse entertainment throughout time. Uh, horses, of, especially the American Saddlebred, which is the breed of Kentucky. It was, ra it was uh, really formed here in Kentucky over 100 years ago, served our Civil War uh, generals and sources of pride in the community. Um, they still compete today in the fairs all over Kentucky. And so this I named Fair, F-A-I-R-E, harkens back to the 1800s uh, with that. And it's a study through some of the uh, uh, horse shows that are happening around here. Uh, actually, one of my favorite photo subjects, because I'm always with them, is my husband. And this one is, this image is taken from the Rock Creek Horse Show earlier this year. And my husband is in the forefront, which um, he's riding a horse called Cordier. He's a five-gated horse. And um, actually, uh, it, it just it spoke to me because it could be any era in time. It is it could be a hundred years ago or it could be today. And the backdrop of the guy in the top hat and the red coats and these are the kind of things you'll see at the Lexington Junior League Horse Show right here in July and uh, Rock Creek. And this one up here is a shot that I took from Harrodsburg Fair, and that was a five-gated class that had about 17 horses in it. I didn't re really know who I was shooting and um, it it's happened to be the current world champion five-gated rider Merrill Murray. So what I do is I get images through my camera and then I create art out of them and the goal is for somebody not to know if it's a picture or a painting and um, that that's the thing that inspires me and is so much fun. But here's a horse that we were talking about earlier, All Glory. And this All Glory shot was taken at the Red Mile right here in Lexington, the Lexington Junior League Horse Show. Not this year, but we compete almost every year there. And it, it's big fun and, and quite an institution here in Lexington that we're proud to be um, part of. And we'll go over now and we'll see this is again from Rock Creek Horse Show. Uh, you can see 
the, the um, again, a five-gated American saddlebred, the arch neck, the proud look, those were the very same traits that made them special mounts of our, our generals back in the Civil War, both sides. And the interesting thing is that after the war, the generals knew so much how important these horses were that they sent them back with the family, the soldiers, so their families could help rebuild. So there we have another example of how horses have been serving people throughout the country. This one is a, a, the uh, Victory Rose, and that one, the, the striking difference between the power of the horse and the delicacy of the rose uh, coming out of the ring of this championship uh, that this girl just won. Okay, moving on. Now we're moving on to uh, the Unbridled Western series and the inspiration. Uh, we've talked about the, the American Standard Bread. We've talked about the American Saddle Bread. We haven't yet talked about the American Quarter Horse. Those are the three breeds that my husband and I uh, are personally competing in and, and raising. So um, the, this is a shot taken right here uh, in Georgetown, Kentucky at Mike Florida's ranch, and my husband was preparing, studying in Kentucky. We also study with Danny Girardi in Moorpark, California, but he was studying with Mike Florida and um, getting prepared for the quarter horse fraternity, which he did an exhibition ride with Lyle Lovett, among others, and uh, for, for benefit of Make-A-Wish. So I'm just intrigued with how this, the images that I see in preparing for the uh, the reigning, the quarter horse reigning, is still very much reminiscent of the uh, America being settled and, and the cowboys driving horses across the range. So even th though this was preparing for modern reigning competition, uh, we can see a reminiscent of the cowboys going across the range and settling our land, driving our cattle, and again, uh, horses of history, and we're able to teach history to our children through modern horses, and I kind of like that. Now we're moving on to a, a series that I call Humor Me, and it's about the funny things that horses do. And this one in particular is what I call Horse Smile. And um, Boston Legal, it's a, a, Boston Legal is a funny horse. And his namesake, Boston Legal, was a funny show. But he, um, he does these very human things. He loves to play with us through the, uh, with his mouth through the, the stall. And, and um, so it's just a study of the funny things that horses do. And, um, the, bo and the interesting thing is, uh, may be interesting is Boston Legal is one that also American Saddlebred that got to participate in the Salute to Kentucky. So um, uh, we love him. Boston Legal is a very is part of our Bell Rev family, and uh, we enjoy him as much as the others. And uh, horse smile. I think we've all seen. It. I am just truly amazed that Pansy was such a progressive woman of her time. And wow, this is the best kept secret in Lexington. Just the detail you can see on the fireplace. Every room you go into is handcrafted. It's so exciting. I just get chills. And uh, everybody should come out because it is art and historic, and art and history, and really the best kept secret in Lexington. So you guys come and uh, visit Spindletop Hall. Pansy out. Well, that's a wonderful look back. Ten years ago in Lexington, Kentucky, Spindletop, while we were visiting the World Equestrian Games, and a great big thank you to Elizabeth Shatner, Elizabeth and Bill Shatner, for their help and support in uh, looking around this wonderful mansion that at one time raised top saddlebreds. Thanks for joining us on this memory. <laughs>